take some impact, but he got away from the full shot. He's getting hurt, Chandler. You can see it on his face. You can see the expression on his face. He's surprised, and he's getting hurt by those Chandler's shots. Chandler, a carpenter's apprentice here in Philadelphia. He used to make water beds. Married, has a young son, as does Lujan have a baby boy. Lujan also has a bruise underneath his left eye, underneath his right eye, excuse me. That could prove a factor after a while in a fight. Uh, Chandler keeps blowing his nose. He might have a slight cold, Gil. You know, there's no reason to be blowing his nose. He's not catching no shots or anything. There goes the rope trick again, grabbing him with the hands. But you notice the referee, he's not warning him. Well, he's looking at the front of the other guy. Roberto Ramirez from Dallas, Puerto Rico. Two judges from Puerto Rico. Chandler looking imploringly at the referee, saying, hey, he's got a pretty good grip on me here. Also complaining about a butt. We're in round seven of the scheduled 15 rounder. I'll tell you, it's plenty of action this fight, and it's been Chandler. And it looks like Lujan's trying to sucker him as he comes in rushing. Trying to hit him with a good sucker right hand or a left hook. Under 30 seconds to go, round seven. <laughs> Chandler is breathing a little heavy right now, Ange. I don't know if he's getting tired or, or, or it is a cold, as you suggested. Second to the seventh round. <laughs> round number eight, Tim Ryan with Joe Clancy and Angelo Dundee live from Philadelphia. The Bantamweight champion Jeff Chandler defending for the first time since winning the title from Julian Solis. And he is fighting an ex-champion, Jorge Lujan of Panama Green. And Lujan is a difficult guy to hit. Now, if you were in Chandler's corner, what would you what would you have told him between rounds? I mean, he's winning the fight, in my opinion, but what would you have told him to make him so he doesn't have to expend as much energy and lands clean as shots? I would keep hitting him with the left jab, keep moving him. He's winning the fight. Then don't gamble by winging him with the punches, just like he's doing right now, hands up. Only thing I don't like, Gil, I, I tell him to stop blowing your nose, which he keeps on doing. That's right, all of a sudden they can hit a good punch over one of the eyes and close right up. By the way, we'll be going very soon for a report from the 24 Hours of Daytona as part of our CBS Sports Spectacular coverage today. Stay with us. Chandler just can't be patient with this guy. The guy waits and waits and waits, and Chandler figures, well, somebody's got to make a fight of it, and he makes the fight of it all the time. And he's the champion. There's Luhan backing up again. He's looking to nail Chandler with a sucker shot and hurt him, get him out of there. He's been hitting him with good right hands and left hook counters, Gil, coming in. They're not enough showing, but they're hurting punches. Right, but they're not enough not enough for him to win a round, uh, Ange, unless he figures on stopping Chandler in the late round. Yeah, but this is the rounds where Lou John will try to, you know, go ahead and take charge. This is the, the stretch run. That's what separates the young ones from the old ones. Well, let's see. Let's wait to see on that. the left eye of Lujan. Only sign of uh, damage on either fighter thus far. Under a minute to go in the eighth round. trick in the trade. Everything except throwing clean punches. Luhan's had 25 professional fights, as has Chandler. And he's been in the title competition eight times. <laughs> the 
This is round number nine, scheduled 15 round WBA Bantamweight Championship fight. If you join us along the way, the champion is in red, Jeff Chandler from Philadelphia, defending for the you first know, time against Jorge Lujan of Panama. I don't like that wrestling. Anytime guys are wrestling, a guy can, he can throw a shoulder out, sprain an ankle. Uh, Chandler, should, as, as Angelo says, you're just trying to pick this guy apart, stay outside, don't try to wrestle with him and rough, rough it up with him. That's the only way the other guy can fight. Angelo, how do you see the fight right now? Well, I see, I see Chandler winning. I mean, but you know, it's a kind of fight where you never know. And uh, I'm a little concerned when you know you have the Latin people here, and you got plenty of rooters in here. Yes, let's call it the way it is. When you say the Latin people, you mean three Latin officials. Oh, is that what they are, Gil? That's what they are. They are from Puerto Rico. Although I heard at one point yesterday that the Panamanian group was complaining that they had three American officials, considering the Puerto Ricans Americans as opposed to the Panamanians. So. Yeah, but I know all these officials, Gil. These are all top-grade officials. That referee's an excellent referee. partisan crowd. Very lively and knowledgeable fight crowd in Philadelphia, as one always expects here. Chandler got nailed with a couple of good sucker right hands in those exchanges. He's standing too straight up inside. He's got to bend those knees. Gil, when he bends his eye to eyeball to eyeball with Lou John, that's the problem. And I think he's going to get himself butter. I really do. But he's running in with that shit with the head. Under a minute to go, round nine. If I, if I was in Chandler's corner, I'd be having him go to that body first and then back up to the head. This guy's very, very hard to hit in the head. Try a couple of straight right hand leads to the body where you don't expose yourself too much. And then come back up to the head with that left hook. That's what I think would work against Luhan. This is the first round that Chandler seemed to be blowing a little steam, uh, Gil. That's right. right. The way he's reacted right now. Well, he got nailed a couple of good right hands, Ange. And Again, he's been roughed up quite a bit in the fight. He's giving weight away. And he can't breathe. His, his nose is definitely clocked up. His mouth definitely off, open more often than it was earlier in the fight. Under 30 seconds to go round nine. We're in the final seconds of the ninth round. And now let's go down to Kim Squire for a report on the 24 hours of Daytona at the Bell. To be mass, let's go back to Tim Ryan. There's the challenger, Jorge Lujan. No serious damage, but a little discoloration under both eyes. The champion, Jeff Chandler, in red. Tenth round always seems to be the, the turning point in a fight that's going like this. Gentlemen, uh, how do you see it at this point, Gil? Well, as you said, the tenth round is the turning point. From the 11th to the 15th is the championship distance. That's when they separate the men from the boys. They must have heard what I said, Tim, because he went right through a straight right hand to the body, and that's going to set up some of those other punches. I'd like to see him do it more often. Again, we'd like to alert our stations. We'll be going to a station break at the end of this 10th round. He keeps trying to hit Luhan in the head, and he's the toughest guy in the world to hit in the head. He's got to go to that body a little more. Short left hook from Chandler landed. And a short right hand. That's what he has to do. He has to keep keep Luhan outside like that. Don't let him brawl. Don't let him wrestle. It's the only chance Luhan has. Well, Chandler's right in the best fight right now, the way he's, he's bullying this guy again. But he's trying to go underneath Gil, but he keeps missing the shots. But Lou John's starting to show wear and tear himself right now. Either fighter in that exchange.
exchange. Under a minute to go, round 10. As what would you do to clear, to clear Chandler's nose? We both see he's having difficulty breathing. Would you do anything between rounds, or would you have put something in there before the fight started? I'd have put it in before. I'd have put it in between rounds. I'd have, I'd, I'd have had some nose drops in the corner, some Sinex or something. But the nose is definitely clogged. Under 30 seconds to go in the 10th round. It's been a good round for Chandler. Landed some of his best punches this round. We'll return to Philadelphia in this Bantamweight Championship after this word from your local stations.